In today's episode, I talk to you guys about reverse dieting. So one of the most common concepts amongst competitive physique based athletes, bodybuilders, bikini athletes, figure athletes, fitness athletes, men's physique athletes, is this concept of reverse dieting. And I'm sure a bunch of you who are interested in competing or perhaps comp have competed yourselves have heard of this concept of reverse dieting. I want to show this episode of MJ Every Day, kind of like a reverse dieting 101, a real introduction to reverse dieting. What is it? What's the purpose of it? What's the deal with reverse dieting? So firstly, reverse dieting is I guess a fancy term, a colorful term that describes the period from going from a pre-contest diet where you're in caloric deficit back into a caloric surplus. So effectively a transition from a cut to a bulk or a transition from a cut back to maintenance calories, a transition out of a cut, a pre-contest diet, a pre-contest regime, a caloric deficit, however you want to describe it. It's a transition out of that period into a period of caloric maintenance or, or caloric surplus. That's effectively what reverse dieting is. That's what reverse dieting is describing. So in terms of how it works in practice, the best way I like to describe it is to firstly set how you get into a pre-contest diet, how you get into caloric surplus. And I've done a bunch of episodes of MJ Every Day that kind of touch on this. Set that up and then flip it on its head because that's effectively what a reverse diet is. So when you guys think about getting into a caloric deficit in order to lose body fat, in order to get into contest shape, to go into a, a pre-contest diet effectively, what we're doing is we're pushing our body into a state of caloric deficit where our calories consumed are less than our calories required for any given period of time, for any 24 hour period. And we're gonna do that by slowly decreasing caloric input, slowly increasing caloric output through training harder, introducing cardio, introducing more intense cardio to increase our caloric output, or a combination of both depending on the athlete and how they wanna get into that caloric deficit. So you've got calories in coming down, you've got calories out going up, you're creating this, this caloric deficit that's gonna allow your body to lose body fat and get into shape for a contest or, or if it's not a contest, it might be you know whatever reason you're trying to lose body fat for. Therefore, a reverse diet is effectively that process in reverse. So we're going from caloric deficit to caloric surplus and how we get there is exactly taking that pre-contest diet, that caloric deficit diet, flipping it on its head. So how we get there is we're slowly gonna increase calories in, we're slowly gonna increase our caloric intake, and we're slowly gonna decrease our caloric output. So slowly decrease the intensity with which we're training, the amount of cardio that we're doing, the intensity of the cardio that we're doing, so that we slowly have this increase in calories coming in, this slow decrease in calories coming out, and we're creating a nice, moderate caloric surplus or caloric maintenance situation so that our body can start building muscle again effectively and get our hormones back into check. So that's really how a reverse diet works in practice. It's the slow process, it's the process of pre-contest dieting in reverse flipped on its head. Now, a lot of people get confused with reverse diet because they think, you know, as soon as the contest is over, as soon as the diet, the, the pre-contest diet or the caloric deficit diet is over, they go straight back to what they were doing before they started the diet. That's not a reverse diet. That's going back to what you were doing before you started dieting. A reverse diet is very calculated, very specific, very intentional increase in calories in, increase in caloric intake, and a very intentional decrease in caloric output over a sustained period of time. Just like you diet for a contest over you know, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, 20 weeks, 
A reverse diet, generally speaking, is gonna take you as long to reverse out of. So if you diet for a show for 20 weeks or, or you're in a caloric deficit for 20 weeks, to get back to where you started using the reverse dieting principle should take about the same period of time. For some people it may be faster, but generally speaking, rule of thumb, if you dieted for 20 weeks for a contest, it's gonna take you 20 weeks to diet back to where you were, to get back to that starting point using the reverse dieting principles. So the question then becomes, look why would you why do you want a reverse diet why don't you just go straight back to you know where you were before you started dieting eating x thousand number of calories doing no cardio if you were doing cardio at all why don't you just go straight back to there why bother with reverse dieting at all and there are there's different trains of thoughts with this some people think it's completely unnecessary and you can just go straight back to what you were doing whereas other people myself included think reverse dieting is the most healthy way to get back to where you started because it's much, much less harsh on your body putting body fat back on. It's much, much less harsh on, uh, on your different hormone responses. Yeah, androgens, your testosterone, your estrogen, your thyroid hormone response, your leptin hormone response, your ghrelin hormone response. It's a much better way to ease your body back to where it was over a sustained period of time, therefore puts your body under much less stress and is therefore much healthier on your body over the long term. So that that's why people choose to implement a reverse diet rather than just going straight back to where they were before they started uh, dieting for a particular contest or dieting for a particular goal. And guys, that's a wrap for today's episode on reverse dieting. I'm calling, I'm going to call it reverse dieting 101, a real introduction to a reverse dieting. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. When it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel, both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC. Guys, until tomorrow, I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Stay massive. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.